Hey guys, welcome back to Yix R Us, and today we have an exciting video to share with you. I'm going to show you what I'm packing in my hospital bag. Nacho's going to make his appearance in one week from the time of filming, and so I need to get this done. With the experience of last time with Ginevra and packing, and I way overpacked that time, I tried to pare down a little bit. Nelson still thinks I overpacked a bit. But I think I did a much better job this time around than last time around. So why don't we take a look? So this is my suitcase. And in it I have what I think I'll need for the baby as well as what I need for myself and for Nelson. I did pack some things this time around for Nelson that I didn't pack last time. And I kind of regretted that he didn't have. So it'll be good to have this time around. Yes, I think. Anyways. So we are delivering in York Region at the same hospital we delivered Jennifer in. The staff was great. The facility was amazing. It's just unfortunately my body didn't take to labor as well as it should have. And so therefore with Ginevra, I ended up having a bit of an experience from trying to give birth naturally to an emergency C-section. So this time around we decided to go for a planned C-section just because of also with all the complications that's going on and just I had enough of the unknown. So this time I figured, you know what, let's just schedule it. So we are delivering next week over Thanksgiving weekend. So happy Thanksgiving. It is time to get this turkey out of the oven. According to Nelson, that's what he said. Okay, so to go over what we're packing this time around, we'll start off with Nelson. So for Nelson, what I packed for him um, in addition to toiletries like shower gel, we can share the shower gel if he chooses to shower there or he might actually come home and take a quick shower. I packed him clothes, which I don't think that I did last time because I actually didn't think I was really going into labor. I might have, I don't quite remember, but I did pack him some clothes, some PJ bottoms so he'd be comfortable. And this time around, I did pack him some slippers too because last time the poor guy had to spend the entire five days in the hospital in his running shoes and he must have been so uncomfortable so therefore i packed both him and i a pair of slippers my slippers are more for the shower um during the time that i'm not in the shower i'm just kind of walking around i have slipper socks so they have their anti-skin just so that i don't slip and fall in case um i'm walking around or whatever but for him, I bought a pair of slippers and just some regular clothes, basically like two to three days worth of change of clothes. And then if he needs more, he can always come back because he probably will come back to check on Ginevra, who is staying at my mom's place for the weekend. Now, what I didn't pack for him last time, poor guy, was I didn't pack him any blankets. So I have packed him this time a set of blankets so that he can stay warm. Last time, granted, it was August that we gave birth and it was warm however at night it still gets a bit chilly especially if you're just sleeping and you're not moving and <laughs> i remember when i was going through the labor because it was going through the entire night i couldn't sleep and he and the poor guy was so cold he ended up sandwiching himself with cushions because the, the hospital doesn't provide blankets for the support person they only provide blankets for the mom and the baby so he had literally made himself a Nelson sandwich in a cushion. It was really funny. And I remember the doctor came in and he just walked in, looked at Nelson and said, well, that's different. I've never seen that before. So <laughs> that's one of those things I don't think I'll ever forget. And parts of the, the, the labor delivery with Ginevra was, <laughs> was definitely a bit of a blur, but that's one of those things that's like, ingrained in my brain so if you're packing your hospital bag make sure you do bring a blanket for your support partner the pillows he could just do with whatever but um definitely do bring him a blanket i also brought myself a towel so that i am elite i have a decent sized towel when i take my shower there thing for the baby. So the baby, for this particular hospital, they will provide feeding and blankets for while the baby's at the hospital, but they do not provide diapers. So I did bring a pack of diapers, and then because, like I say, Nelson will most likely come home in between, if we need more, he can always grab more. I've told him exactly where all the newborn diapers are, and it's all laid out in our room. 
and uh, but I did bring about 30 diapers to start off with as well as important things such as the diaper rash cream so I brought some diaper rash cream as well we used this one last time for when Ginevra was really little and then we changed over just to pure um, coconut oil as a barrier cream and that worked great as well and then also for toiletries I also got one of these these are great I think I got this one at Walmart and it is a take a long pack it's basically it has nursing pads baby shampoo baby lotion da 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 so this will definitely come in handy other things that I got for the baby were I brought these little sample wipe packs and so actually I had an Avon customer whose brother's practice was closing and so all of the baby samples she gave them to me which include a bunch of wipes and um, some diapers and coupons and stuff so I'm very very thankful I'm very very thankful for that so thank you again the other things that I brought for the baby of course a swaddle blanket in case I want to swaddle the baby in my own my own swaddlers as well as because he's coming home in October it's going to be chilly but it's not going to be super chilly I checked the weather and according to the weather right now it's still going to be above 10 Celsius which is pretty good however I did want to bring some blankets for him so I have these two little ones just for when we're transporting him from the hospital into the car just for something just to keep him covered and make sure that he stays warm I like them because it's a small size I could fold it and I tuck what I do with Ginevra was I would just tuck it around the little body like this. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That's what I did today. That's what you did today. Yes, you did that to mommy's belly today as practice, right? Props. Like, oh, oh, yeah. For his clothes, I brought a few things. I brought, um, I don't want to show you the actual outfit because I do want it to be a bit of a surprise, but I did bring a couple of choice like a couple of options just because I don't know what I'm, I'm pretty sure I know which one I want for him to wear but just in case I'm slightly indecisive still and if it does get really cold I do have a fleece one so I have three different temperature variations for its clothes and of course two little hats to keep his little head warm are they cute boy? I don't think they'll fit <laughs> but they are really cute so these Mama, ones can we see it? Oh my head. No, I don't want to stretch it out. But we could do it like this. Come. Shoot. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I got these ones from Carter's. These two little ones from Carter's. They are really cute. This one has like little animal themes and koalas and lions and turtles and hippos. This is just a little plain blue one. And that definitely that definitely will look up to on the baby. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of it you're going to have to check out in another video once I do a meet Nato, which will not be his real name, but for today's sake, yes. Okay, now this is something that I got as a sample from my OB. It is the Red, uh, Nestle Good Start 1 Pro Blend DHA Brain and Eye. Iron Fortified Milk Based Infant Formula as a just in case. I don't know if I actually need to bring it. Like I say, they they have the feeding supplies there just in case we need it. But being an overpacker that I am, I packed it anyways. For Ginevra, I did try to breastfeed right away, but my milk did come in right away, so we did have to supplement with formula. And I mean, in my mind, fed is best. My child is fed. I'm happy. So yeah, we, we kept trying. I mean, I ended up breastfeeding her with formula supplement until 14 months. So just at the beginning, we needed her to start with some formula just because I couldn't, my milk just didn't come in. We tried a bunch of different things before it finally came in, but it still wasn't quite enough for her to be satisfied. Um, yeah, so I always, I want to have the formula there as a just in case. We do also, we bought, I think it was, two cases of formula for home again just in case the baby ends up needing a formula supplement as well hopefully not hopefully i'll have enough breast milk this time around but we'll see you never know going into things that i got for myself i just grabbed these two brand new toothbrushes for the uh 
the hospital stay. We're gonna need to brush our teeth, but right now before we even go, we also still need to brush our teeth. And so <laughs> I didn't want to be, oh my gosh, we have to go to the hospital today and then forget to put our toothbrushes. That would not be fun. I don't want my child to smell my bad breath, morning breath for the first thing. No, that I don't think he'll really notice. And then just a half used thing of toothpaste because we had two toothpastes going on anyway, so I grabbed that. Also, for my toiletries, so I brought shower gel. I just grabbed a couple of Avon ones. So this is the cucumber melon, and then this is the pomegranate and mango. I just put them in a little plastic bag just in case we have a shower gel lid that popped off somehow during transportation and I didn't get everything all over my all over my clothes and stuff. Other toiletries that I bought, brought, um, I just brought some facial wipes to make it easier for me to just clean my face really quickly. And then I brought a um, scent-free body lotion. This one's for itchy skin because my belly is still really itchy. Don't really know how much I'll be using it. And then I also bought a, the Moisture Therapy Intensive one just so that I wouldn't get too, um, my skin wouldn't get too dry, like, and again, get itchy. Like I said, this pregnancy, I have been so, 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 so dry. Other items that I got brought, uh, just another face wash in case I do have get the opportunity to actually stand up and wash my face. It is a trial size. I also brought a small travel size of a night cream, just for easy transportation. And because right now I'm still using my regular skincare products anyways, in case I forget to grab that, I, I don't have to worry about it. I just have everything already in a little makeup pouch. And then I brought um, a mini version of my power serum. If you follow my Dancing Avon Lady channel, you know how much I love my power serum. It is one of the most important things of my skincare routine because even if I just end up using that alone, my skin feels a little bit more moisturized than if I have absolutely nothing at all. I have a lip balm. I cannot live without my lip balm. Oh, I brought a hair tie. So I got one of our coil hair ties just to quickly whip up my hair. Not that it's very long like last time, but these are good to have because they don't tangle my hair as well and they don't give me a headache. And then just some dental floss and my eye drops. I brought lipstick, not thinking that I'm actually going to use it. I don't know why I put those in there. I either put them in there or I just forgot to take them out from my last trip one or the other. Other things that I grabbed for myself, um, I brought some nursing bras, right? I brought two nursing bras, as well as some old crummy panties that I will not mind getting kind of gross, basically, and I'm willing to throw it out right afterwards, just because, well, things get kind of gross down there. You end up bleeding, and um, yeah, so, these are panties that I'm okay just to discard after use or sacrifice to the cause, if you will. I got a couple of shirts for myself. They're looser, they're more comfortable, as well as a nice pair of loose pants. I will also probably be wearing a pair of these on my way there, so that'll be comfortable. Most of the time while I'm in the hospital, I will be in a dressing gown, so I don't really need a lot of change of clothes. If I remember correctly, yeah, yeah, I'll be in a dressing gown most of the time, I think. I wonder. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yes, because my doctor has to be able to examine the stitches afterwards and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure, yes. Okay, right. and then um, I grabbed this nice, beautiful little cute purple top that one that my friend and old dance student got me when I had Ginevra. And I love this top because it can open up really easily to be a nursing top. So. I'm bringing this one and it feels so nice. It is so soft and comfy. Mm -hmm. I've also brought a little sweater in case I got cold. It'll just kind of go over my shoulders. October is a weird month. Like the beginning of October, we one day it was like in the 30s and then the next day it felt like six degrees. So it is what it is. Uh, the other thing that I brought for myself was I brought a couple of extra little nursing pads. These ones are the disposable ones. Um, and it's just, if my boobs do start leaking, this will also get up. Uh, and then also I brought some beautiful big pads for the afterbirth stuff that happened. These are the exact same ones that I used last time for Ginevra and they worked perfectly for me. Actually, I think these are the Depend pads, to be honest with you. 
and they worked great until things kind of slowed down a little bit with the bleeding down there. And um, by that time, I was already home, and um, I just used like big overnight pads, and that was enough for me. Yes. Now, other things that I ha didn't show you, but we are going to pack are including our electronics and camera, and Nelson's razor. Nelson's still is going to work right now for this. Well, he's part of this week, and so he still needs to shave. So I can't. I mean, we only have one razor for him. So we're gonna grab that the day of. And even if he forgets, he can always, like I say, he's gonna come back and check on Ginevra anyways, so he can always grab it at that point. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything we're gonna bring to the hospital, and we are good to go. So, do you think I missed anything? Do you think I overpacked? Something I did not pack this time was I did not pack my own pillow. I didn't even end up using it last time. I'm not packing my laptop. Last time I had a, a playlist going. I'm not packing my laptop for the same purpose because I had like a playlist going and and um and i'm not really using it too much <laughs> i tried to use it and then i'm not really packing a birth plan although if you are going in and you have a birth plan bring it they the hospital was great they did try to honor my birth plan as much as possible that was safe for me and safe for the baby however just because of circumstance we had to completely abandon it and, and i had the most medically Interven intervening birth ever <laughs> so it is what it is my daughter's healthy and i'm happy with that same thing with this guy it'll be what it'll be as long as he comes out healthy and i'm good i'm in a good place that's all i really care about right now at this point in my life if you feel that i'm missing anything please do leave me a comment below if you want to find out what I actually ended up using and what I didn't end up using at the hospital, again, let me know in the comments below and I can do another video after the wonderful glorious event happens in another seven days. Seven days. Oh my God. Seven days till the baby comes. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. See you in the next one. Bye. Can I see what? Bye bye. You excited to see Nacho? Yeah! You ready for this? Huh? Uh. So excited!